a black figure flew over the vast mountain forest in a lightning-like manner. The pressure that was brought about by his high-speed flying caused a long gully to form over the sea of trees below. It was a long while later before the gully slowly disappeared. The black figure was naturally the one who had helped the bloody battle mercenary company settle some trouble. It was Xiao Yan. He was not worried that Higan would secretly use any underhanded tactics. This was because he knew that all tactics were useless in front of absolute strength. The small He clan might possess some reputation within the northwestern part of the empire, but from the point of view of the Yen alliance, it was merely a faction that could barely catch the eye of the alliance. It would not require too much effort to eliminate the He clan. Hence, Xiao Yan calmly left after having resolved the trouble. He did not leave anything behind when he left this time around. Ultimately, he did not have a deep friendship with Ka Gang and the others. The favor of providing Xiao Yan shelter back then was already repaid after Xiao Yan rescued them twice. Many thoughts flashed through Xiao Yan's heart as his flying speed suddenly rose. His speed was finally reduced after around 10 plus minutes. The fire wings on his back were flapped and his body charged into the mountain valley hidden between some mountain peaks. Xiao Yan sensed an ice-cold gaze sweeping over the moment his body entered the valley. The gaze only became a little warmer after sweeping over Xiao Yan's face. That gaze was naturally Medusa's, who had remained guard in this place. Hence, Xiao Yan did not mind it. His body moved and the next time he appeared, he was already beside that enormous purple-colored light cocoon. Have you settled your matters? Medusa raised her eyes and randomly inquired when she saw Xiao Yan appear. Xiao Yan smiled and nodded. He roughly mentioned the matter from earlier. However, Medusa did not display much interest in this matter. It was merely one Do Wang and a mediocre mercenary company, therefore, it had difficulty causing her to feel any curiosity. The fluctuation of your aura is becoming increasingly greater. The Do Qi in your body is also repeatedly seeping out. From the looks of it, you need to hurry and undertake a retreat, Medusa clearly paid more attention to the situation of Xiao Yan's body compared to the matter. She frowned as she spoke. From the looks of her eyesight, the current Xiao Yan was just like a sieve that was full of holes. Do Qi was repeatedly seeping out from these holes. Xiao Yan bitterly smiled and nodded. The aura that he had unleashed earlier caused the Do Qi within his body to become increasingly more out of control. Moreover, the most problematic thing was that the natural energy had started to pour unceasingly into his body. This caused the interior of his body to become more and more chaotic. I am pressed for time and plan to begin a deep retreat now. During my retreat, I will seal off the mountain cave. I will leave Ziyan up to you. Xiao Yan mused for a moment before immediately speaking. Yes. Medusa nodded slightly. She immediately hesitated for a moment and said, I have yet to return to the snake people race during this trip back to the Jiama Empire. I might return to the tribe once you exit your retreat. Xiao Yan was startled when he heard this. He hesitated for a moment before probing, do you need me to return with you? There is no need to. Humans aren't welcomed by our snake people race. It is unavoidable that there would be some unnecessary trouble if you came along. Medusa expression moved before her mouth uttered a faint rejection. Xiao Yan rubbed his head in embarrassment when he saw this. He said, in that case, let's forget about it. That? I will first pack up the mountain cave and will begin the retreat in a while. I will leave Ziyan to you. Medusa lowered her chin. Xiao Yan did not delay any longer when he saw her nodding. The chaotic Dou Qi within his body caused him to feel a great discomfort. Hence, his body flashed and he rushed into the mountain cave. After which, he tidied this place where he would undertake a long retreat amid a low explosive sound. Medusa sent Xiao Yan into the mountain cave with her eyes. She involuntarily clenched her hand and her eyes changed rapidly. A moment later, she let out a helpless sigh. This fellow seemed to be a little afraid to follow her to the snake people tribe. The tidying of the mountain cave lasted for around 10 plus minutes before ending. After which, Xiao Yan, who was covered with rock dust, coughed and walked out. He arrived at the spot where the enormous purple-colored cocoon was and gently patted it. He laughed, little girl, I will also be undertaking a retreat and will invite your Kai Ling Jie to look after you during this period of time. I hope that you will have completed your evolution when I exit my retreat. Otherwise, I will leave you in this wilderness and allow other magical beasts to consume you like a tonic. That light cocoon suddenly became a little brighter when Xiao Yan's voice sounded. It was as though that little fellow within it was opposing him. Xiao Yan involuntarily laughed when he saw this. Medusa by the side also helplessly shook her head. This fellow still had the mood to joke even at this moment. Xiao Yan patted the light cocoon once more. He turned his head to Medusa and said with a slight smile, I'm afraid that it will be hard on you this time around. I am also unaware just how long I will take during this breakthrough. If I guess correctly, it will require at least half a year. Relax, it is only half a year, Medusa pushed aside the black hair on her forehead with her hand and spoke faintly, as long as no special situation occurs, I will guard the both of you until you successfully come out. Xiao Yan nodded quietly when he heard this. He inhaled a deep breath of air and cupped his hands respectfully to Medusa. 
he suddenly turned around and strode to the mountain cave. A moment later, his body entered the darkness in the cave. Following the disappearance of his body, the mountain cave abruptly emitted loud banging noises. Immediately, a pile of huge rocks rolled and fell, firmly blocking the entrance to the cave. Medusa's indifferent expression finally revealed a loneliness as she looked at the cave entrance which had turned into a pile of rubble. No one knew just when Xiao Yan would be able to leave after undertaking this retreat. Medusa was silent for a moment before sighing quietly. She softly muttered, hopefully, you will be able to break through successfully. The mountain cave was not as dark as one would imagine. A couple of moonlight stones had been placed on the cave walls. The faint gentle light scattered throughout the cave. It was neither too glaring nor did it appear too dark. Xiaoyan sat cross-legged on a green rock. This green rock clearly contained some jade fragments and it felt cool when he sat on it. It contained a certain benefit in ensuring one's alertness. Xiaoyan glanced at this green rock before he suddenly recalled the green-colored fire lotus back then. Training atop it could not only enable one to increase one's absorption speed but it also possessed the benefits of an initial refinement. It was really an ultimate helper in training. Unfortunately, it had been destroyed by the fallen heart flame while he was underground. Xiaoyan let out a bitter laugh. He let out a long sigh before his hands immediately formed a seal. In merely the time one took to breathe, he had entered his training state without any obstacles. The situation within his body appeared in his mind once he entered the training condition. He looked at the torrent-like Dou Qi that was galloping within his veins in a chaotic manner. He helplessly shook his head. It was fortunate that this body of his had undergone the refinement of spiritual medicines and heavenly flames many times. Otherwise, a Dou Qi uprising of this degree would at the very least cause him to feel a pain deep within his bones. Xiao Yan slowly tossed the distractions from his mind as his mind began to manage the uprising of Dou Qi within his body. With the help of his powerful spiritual strength, this Dou Qi, that was surging about randomly, was chased into a couple of qi paths within a short period of time. The Dou Qi followed the root of the flame mantra and was swiftly circulated. While it was circulating, a strange feeling, that appeared to exist within his spirit, slowly appeared in Xiao Yan's heart. The surrounding natural energy outside of the cave began to surge wildly when this unique feeling had invaded Xiao Yan's heart. It swiftly rotated before forming a small spiraling funnel in the air above Xiao Yan's head. The smaller side was connected to Xiao Yan's temple as it poured that enormous wild and violent energy into Xiao Yan's body. Xiao Yan immediately frowned within his heart following the pouring in of such an enormous amount of energy. The density of the energy within the valley had somewhat exceeded his expectations. It was unexpected that it was this strong at the start. Xiao Yan inhaled a deep breath of air. His mind moved, and a jade green flame suddenly appeared without any forewarning, completely wrapping around his body. After the jade green flame appeared, it did not have the time to emit its temperature when it began to wiggle slowly under Xiao Yan's command. Finally, the jade green flame gradually transformed into an invisible flame. It was surprisingly the fallen heart flame. The fallen heart flame completely wrapped around Xiao Yan's body, appearing like a layer of fire clothes. The speed of the wild, violent energy from the surroundings, which had been pouring wildly into Xiao Yan's body, immediately paused. Under the protection of the fallen heart flame, that somewhat mottled natural energy would be refined once by the special effect of the fallen heart flame after passing through it. In this way, the pressure within Xiao Yan's body was immediately greatly reduced. Energy whistled within the mountain cave. Colorful mottled energy strands intertwined with each other. Bright, beautiful colors radiated within the cave, allowing it to appear exceptionally beautiful. At the edge of the countless energy light was Xiao Yin, who was sitting cross-legged. The advancement from a Dou Huang to a Dou Huang was not an ordinary matter. The advancement to this class required an unusually great amount of energy, just like Zi Yin. Such a majestic amount of energy was naturally not something that could be achieved within a short period of time. Hence, one could only rely on accumulating energy for a long time in order to complete the transformation process. The current Xiao Yin already possessed the qualifications to advance to the Dou Huang class. Hence, the current him only required sufficient energy for him to advance. Once he had completed the gathering of energy, advancing to the Dou Huang was a matter that was easy to achieve. The only drawback was that this advancement would require quite a long period of time. The concept of time was quite vague within the mountain forest. It was even more so within the quiet valley. At this moment, one month had already passed since Xiao Yan had begun his retreat. However, there was not the slightest commotion within the valley. Even the enormous purple-colored light cocoon that Zi Yan had transformed into was still emitting a bright glow at a steady pace. There was not the slightest sign of her breaking the cocoon to come out of it. Medusa was also quite helpless in the face of this. She had somewhat underestimated the immensity of the energy that Zi Yan needed to advance. Medusa fondled her chin as she sat cross-legged on an enormous rock. Her gaze paused on the light cocoon for a moment before involuntarily turning to the cave covered by a countless number of rock fragments. 
She could not help but sigh softly when she saw that there was still not even a little activity there. Xiao Yan's aura had become partially invisible three days after he took the retreat. After a couple of days, his aura was completely hidden. Even with Medusa's strength, she could only vaguely sense the slight aura within the valley if she used all her strength. She knew that the current Xiao Yan was experiencing a period of undertaking the correct path from the peak of the Dou Wang class into the Dou Huang class. The moment his aura truly disappeared, he will have successfully advanced to an elite Dou Huang. Ugh, these two fellows really test one's patience, Medusa helplessly sighed. She could only withdraw her gaze and slowly shut her eyes as she also entered her training mode. She could only use training to pass time under the dull task of waiting and protecting. Otherwise, it would truly test one's patience to the extreme. The days within the valley passed by in this manner one after another. They swiftly flowed past without any great changes. Any noise from the outside world had difficulty spreading to this place. This provided Xiao Yan and Zi Yan the quietest environment to advance. Some fluctuations appeared amid these quiet days around two months after Xiao Yan's retreat. The source of this change was due to Xiao Yan. Medusa was meandering through this day by training and protecting as she had been doing. However, just as she was about to enter her training mode, she suddenly felt the energy within the valley become like bubbling boiling water as it fluctuated intensely. She was immediately startled and she swiftly tracked the source. It was surprisingly the place where Xiao Yan was undertaking his retreat. This fellow, Medusa knit her eyebrows slightly. She could sense that the dense energy within the valley was gathering within that mountain cave in a crazy manner. Moreover, the speed of this agglomeration was also increasing. In the end, it actually formed a large energy swirl in the air over the valley, which was dozens of feet wide. The middle of that swirl was the cave. Why is it that the amount of energy he requires to advance is also so large? Medusa was stunned as she looked at that enormous swirl over her head. She could not help but feel a little absent-minded. It was not as though she had never experienced the advancement from a Dou Wang to a Dou Huang. That process did require an unusually large amount of energy. However, it did not occur like Xiao Yan's crazy attraction of natural energy, no? Of course, Medusa was unaware that an ordinary Dou Wang advancing to a Dou Huang would not require such wild energy snatching. This was because the energy that they absorbed could at the very most only undergo the refinement of the Qi method within their body. However, it was different for Xiao Yan. There was not only a powerful and overbearing qi method like the flame mantra within his body but there was also the existence of three types of heavenly flames. These heavenly flames were protecting his body at all times. The natural energy that was pouring into his body would have to pass through these three checkpoints. Hence, an energy that was as thick as one's arm would quickly be refined into a thread that was as small as one's thumb after passing through these three checkpoints. Moreover, after the energy entered his body and underwent the refinement of the flame mantra, qi method, this thumb-sized energy would shrink again. In this way, the energy that Xiao Yan could absorb had naturally shrank greatly in terms of size. Of course, the size might have shrank but that energy supplied Xiao Yan with limitless benefits. With such pure dou qi, his foundation in the dou huang class would be much firmer compared to an ordinary dou huang. This point would have a crucial use when he advanced to an even higher class in the future. The drawback created by this process was that he required an even larger and more frightening amount of energy to advance when compared with an ordinary person. This was the reason that the unusual phenomenon from earlier appeared. The colorful energy swirl slowly rotated in the air while the natural energy was repeatedly being absorbed. Following the pulling force from the swirl gradually becoming stronger, even the energy outside of the valley began to faintly agglomerate toward the small valley. Medusa had naturally sensed this situation. Her pretty face immediately changed slightly. This magical beast mountain range had many powerful magical beasts. They were extremely sensitive to energy. The appearance of such an intense ripple in this place would definitely attract them over. The purple-colored light cocoon that Zi Yan had transformed into seemed to be affected by the intense ripple of the natural energy just as Medusa's pretty face changed a little. It immediately emitted an intense purple glow. Under that purple light, a portion of the natural energy within the valley separated and wildly rushed toward the cocoon. In a moment, the sound of energy whistling within the valley appeared repeatedly. Two wild suction forces swept over the sky and forcefully pulled over all the energy that they could absorb before swallowing it all. The suctioning strength of the valley soared, and even some of the external natural energy began to swiftly surge toward the valley. Ugh. These two fellows aren't even willing to be quiet when they advance, Medusa immediately shook her head helplessly when she saw this. Her body moved and appeared in the sky above the valley. She swept her pretty eyes around her before her hand suddenly formed numerous complicated hand seals. Her expression gradually became solemn. While Medusa's hands danced and formed numerous afterimages, the air above the valley suddenly fluctuated in a strange manner. A moment later, this space became very distorted. The colorful energy swirl was slowly covered under the distortion of the space. The wiggling of space became more intense. 
Medusa's expression also became increasingly more solemn. It was a long while later before her hand seal suddenly changed as she cried out in a deep voice. When her cry sounded, the surrounding space suddenly solidified as an unusual fluctuation swiftly spread out. Finally, it covered the entire mountain valley. Following the spread of this fluctuation, the wild suction emitted from the valley was slowly hidden. Medusa only sighed in relief after doing all of this. She lowered her head and looked at the valley only to see that it was void of anything. Her body moved and slowly made its way toward the valley. Space suddenly shook just as her body reached a certain boundary. Her figure gradually disappeared. The disappearing Medusa slowly reappeared within the valley. She raised her head and observed the colorful energy ripple in the air. Her delicate hand rubbed the perspiration on her smooth forehead. Despite her current strength, she would still have to exhaust herself greatly in order to lock the space of this valley. However, it was fortunate that the activity in this place was hidden once again. Otherwise, it would inevitably attract various powerful magical beasts should time drag on. Although Medusa was unafraid, if the two people undertaking a retreat within the valley were affected by the battle, the results would be somewhat unfavorable. This way, even if there is a person or a magical beast flying over the valley, it would be difficult for them to discover any clues of the valley as long as their strength has yet to exceed mine. Ugh, these two fellows really don't allow one to relax. Medusa once again sat cross-legged on the enormous rock and laughed bitterly to herself. After her voice sounded, Medusa slowly shut her eyes and began to recover from the great exhaustion from earlier. The valley which space had been sealed hid those intense fluctuation with Medusa's help. However, the enormous colorful energy swirl in the air did not disappear. Instead, it became increasingly more dense as time flowed by. The light cocoon within the valley and Xiao Yan in the cave repeatedly absorbed a large amount of energy from it. Time quietly slipped by under this quietness where each day was a repetition of the previous one. Without realizing it, three months had passed since Xiao Yan's retreat. However, the two people within the valley still did not show the slightest sign of exiting their retreat. This caused Medusa to feel extremely helpless. Time swiftly flowed by like sand between one's fingers. When the time that elapsed within the valley had reached the fourth month, Medusa, who was in training, suddenly opened her eyes. Her pretty face was ice cold. At this moment a seven-colored snake scale suddenly appeared on her smooth forehead. Moreover, it was repeatedly emitting a faint colorful glow. Medusa's delicate hand gently rubbed the seven-colored scale on her forehead. Her aura had turned somewhat chaotic for the first time. This scale was created from a tread of spirit that she had stored within the altar of the snake people race. Only the shaman of the snake people race could inform her of something through the burning of this thread of spirit. Normally speaking, this was a measure that the shaman would adopt only when the tribe was truly met with a great danger. Despite having been the head of the snake people race for so many years, this was the first time that this summoning method was used. From the looks of it, a big matter had indeed befallen the snake people race. Medusa inhaled a deep breath of air before suddenly standing up. However, when her gaze swept over the light cocoon and the cave, she hesitated for a moment. After musing for a long time, she did not immediately leave. Instead, she leaped up and used her entire strength to place an extremely secure space lock in the sky of this valley. I have increased the defenses for the both of you. It should be sufficient to protect the both of you as you advance here. This time around, it seems that the snake people race have met with a great disaster. I must return to them. Once I settle my problem, I will return here. Medusa only sighed in relief after completing all of these tasks. She placed a scroll on the enormous rock where she trained. After which, she rubbed the hot seven-colored snake scale on her forehead. A coldness and surging killing intent gradually surfaced on her pretty face. Her body moved, charged through the seal in the space, and swiftly disappeared. After Medusa left, the valley became completely silent. The space lock in the sky had caused the small valley to become a place that was isolated from the outside world. No one would accidentally charge into this quiet ground. However, other than the lack of sound Medusa departure did not so much as cause a wave within the valley. That pile of rock fragments over the entrance of the cave still did not have any response. The enormous light cocoon within the valley similarly showed no sign of breaking through. Although it appeared similar to the past, any person with extremely strong spiritual perception would be able to discover that these two unusually powerful auras were quietly being concealed, awaiting the moment they would be reborn. Although the valley had reared some magical beasts, they did not dare to take even half a step into the deep valley because of the pressure that the light cocoon faintly emitted. They also did not dare to emit a roar that was too loud, afraid they would disturb the existence that filled them with great fear. Hence, the deep part of the valley had turned into one where humans and beasts were rare. The wild grass in the valley rapidly grew under the influence of the dense energy. In the end, the wild grass swept over the light cocoon. It continued to intertwine to form a green-colored web around the mountain cave and the light cocoon. In this way, a desolation was added to this valley. Only the enormous colorful energy swirl in the midair was emitting some life. 
Time swiftly flowed past within this deep valley that was isolated from the outside world. One day after another passed. Spring disappeared and autumn arrived. Without realizing it, around half a year had passed since Medusa had left. By counting the time that passed, Xiao Yan's and Zi Yan's retreats had nearly reached a year. Although such a long time was exhausted, there was still not the slightest unusual activity from the valley. The desolate quiet valley seemed to have quietly forgotten about them. Medusa did not return during this half a year. No one knew what happened to her. Wild grass was still growing all over the place within the deep valley. If no accident were to occur, it would soon occupy the entire mountain valley within a short period of time. Finally, it would follow the mountain wall and climbed out, appearing like blind green snake as it spread out. Time quietly flowed by within the desolate, deep valley. On a certain day, a slight unusual movement that was different than the usual monotony finally appeared in the deep valley. One could see that large energy swirl that was slowly rotating in the sky suddenly began to gradually cease spinning. Majestic energy poured down like a storm before finally transforming into two mountainous torrent-like energy pillars. One of these energy pillars charged into the valley, which was now hidden by the wild grass, while the other landed on the light cocoon, which was covered by wild grass. These two energy pillars that were over 10 feet large cut through the air. The air emitted a sharp tearing sound as they did so. From this, it was sufficient to see just what kind of enormous energy was contained within these two energy pillars. Under such a large amount of energy, the wild grass within the valley suddenly withered at a speed visible to the naked eye. Within a couple of short breaths, it completely returned to how it was before. The large purple-colored light cocoon in the valley and the mountain cave blocked with rock fragments slowly reappeared. One of the two enormous energy pillars entered the light cocoon while the other entered the cave. They immediately ceased having any other unusual movements after that. The energy swirl in the air had already completely disappeared. The intense natural energy in the valley also gradually returned to its normal state. From the looks of the situation, it seemed that the two fellows who required an enormous amount of energy had already reached a stage where they were full. The light cocoon within the valley turned an increasingly deeper color after absorbing that enormous energy pillar. Some strange seals gradually appeared on the surface of the light cocoon. The glows that were gradually emitted from these seals appeared to be quite mysterious. There was no other activity after this change occurred within the valley. In the blink of an eye, another half a month passed. Within the cave, whose entrance was firmly blocked by a pile of rock fragments, the eyes that had been shut for nearly one year finally shook a little as they slowly opened. A storm full of lightning flashed through his dark black eyes one bolt after another as they opened. At that moment, even the air within the solemn mountain cave emitted a slight crackling sound. A majestic aura that had been silent for nearly one year finally became like a fierce tiger following the opening of his eyes. He slowly raised his head, faced the sky and emitted an earth-shaking roar. Even the mountain cave began to shake under the majestic aura that was more than a couple of times stronger than before. Numerous thick arm-sized crack lines spread out like spiderwebs from the spot where the black-robed, young man sat with his legs crossed. Finally, they spread over every single corner of the cave. The slight sound suddenly appeared while the black-robed, young man was seated on the green rock. Immediately, numerous tiny crack lines appeared. After which, they swiftly spread over the entire green rock before the green rock burst apart. It transformed into a countless number of fragments amid a low and deep rumble. The black-robed, young man seated on the green rock did not move even a little despite it bursting apart. Both of his legs were suspended on empty air and he continued to remain afloat in the air in this matter without borrowing any external strength. This is the strength of a Dou Huang Huh. Xiao Yan's hand slowly moved. He sensed the majestic mountainous torrent-like Dou Qi erupting within his body. A faint arc seeped out from the corner of his mouth. At this moment, a kind of heroic feeling of having everything held in one's hand surfaced within his heart. A powerful spiritual strength swept out in a lightning-like manner and spread in all directions like a storm with his body at the middle. The powerful spiritual strength was swiftly spread out of the cave and wrapped the entire valley within it. Using the spiritual strength to scan the place, Xiao Yan was able to see an enormous purple-colored light cocoon within the valley. Moreover, since he was relying on the sensitive spiritual strength, he could vaguely sense a powerful life being agglomerated within the cocoon. The spiritual strength spread to the valley. However, it did not stop because of this. Instead, it continued to head for the enormous magical beast mountain range and spread over it. Following the spreading of his spiritual strength, a countless number of scenes were reflected within Xiao Yan's head. Of course, there were quite a large number of powerful magical beasts within the magical beast mountain range. Hence, this overbearing spiritual scanning by Xiao Yan did not escape their notice. It was because of this that the vast mountain range immediately began to emit numerous earth-shaking furious roars. Countless numbers of low-rank magical beasts began to tremble amid these roars. Despite being able to sense Xiao Yan's spiritual scan, 
most of these powerful magical beasts, with the exception of those that possessed special abilities, were unable to cause much damage to Xiao Yan's spirit. Therefore, Xiao Yan's spiritual strength did not receive even the slightest attack during this overbearing scan of the place. The majestic spiritual strength spread over a 50-kilometer radius. However, this seemed to be the hard limit. As a result, Xiao Yan's spiritual strength had difficulty advancing even an inch after having spread to encompass a mountain. Xiao Yan's mind moved upon seeing this. The spiritual strength that had spread out began to shrink in a lightning-like manner like flood water. With a couple of breaths, it had completely shrunk back into his body. Xiao Yan lifted his head slightly after the spiritual strength completely returned to his body. He let out a long breath and had just wanted to try to converge his spiritual strength deep within him when a thought suddenly struck him. His finger gently touched the dense white fire imprint on his forehead. Some unknown trembling quietly appeared deep within his spirit. Xiao Yan inhaled a deep breath of moist air. His eyes flickered slightly before they immediately narrowed. His mind suddenly moved and a majestic spiritual strength once again swept out. However, it did not spread out this time around. Instead, it rushed into that fire seal on his forehead. Xiao Yan's spiritual strength had just charged into the fire seal when a low, deep, muffled sound exploded with a bang within his mind. Immediately, his eyes turned black and a small path that was formed from dense white flames appeared in front of him. There was a deep bottomless darkness on the two sides of the small path. There seemed to be no end to the small flame path at a glance. Xiao Yan's body moved and did not hesitate as he rushed down the small flame path. When the spiritual strength from earlier had reached a certain point, his usage of his spiritual strength appeared to be much clearer. The small path was indeed long. However, under the speed of his spiritual strength, which was faster than lightning, it only required over 10 minutes before a flame hole appeared at the end of the small flame path. Xiao Yan's spiritual strength trembled slightly before ruthlessly charging over. Xiao Yan's spirit charged into the fire hole. The glaring dense white flame suddenly disappeared. Replacing it was an extremely pressuring darkness. This dark place seemed to be an enormous hall. The hall was so wide that it was somewhat frightening. A stone pillar that was over a thousand feet long reached into the sky as it supported this unusually large hall. This hall was covered with a countless number of clusters of light wrapped within a jade green glow. Xiao Yan's spirit swept over them and was shocked to realize that those clusters of light actually contained a living spiritual body within each of them. Xiao Yan's spirit rolled intensely because of this shocking scene. His spirit swiftly swept over the place. A moment later, his shock suddenly agglomerated on a cluster of jade green light that was near the middle spot of the large hall. Within it was an old man who had his eyes tightly shut. The thing that caused a storm to brew within Xiao Yan's heart was that this old man was Yao Lao who had been captured by the Hall of Souls. This is, is the Hall of Souls? Xiao Yan's spirit emitted a dull voice. The moment his voice had just sounded, the space in front of him suddenly fluctuated. Immediately, the space blasted apart like a broken mirror. A frightening spiritual strength that even the space could not withstand carrying an unusually dense darkness suddenly erupted. Mere contact with it shattered the spiritual remnant of Xiao Yan into nothingness.